Hey there, In The Loopers, this is Braden here from In The Loop, and I went by to check in on Universal Studios for you guys. And of course, we're gonna start here at the parking structure. We've got a few more levels since I've been here last, um, and we've got more levels to the bridge, a lot of paint work going on in the parking garage. Um, they're busy with linking these actual parking garages um, with these bridges. Um, there were actually workers on the parking garage that I'm standing on working on connecting that when I was there. Looks like there's also going to be some type of bridge or walkway coming across through this section as well. You can see the footers are now in place for that. You can see the wait times here was uh, on a when, when was I there? Wednesday? Yeah, I was here on a Wednesday. Not bad, but the lines were a little longer for a late August day. Looking here at that mystery construction, which a lot of people are rumoring to be stuff. You gotta look it up online. I don't wanna say, don't wanna spread any rumors, but lots of detail going on in here, a lot of foam work. Um, you can kind of see, you can see through the sheeting in person a lot better, but you can see there's like windows in the back. Um, you can see there's like little windows up here, so they're really gonna pull that theme um, from the British section over to the right here into this area. Uh, I was walking by in the Fast and the Furious Dancers, I'm not quite sure what they were called, but this was going on here in the middle pavilion. All right, Harry Potter. It is coming along great. Uh, they haven't really touched the front. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of stuff down below going on. Um, this sign is new since I've been here last. Also, uh, looking back, it's starting to look really complete. The top of Hogwarts Express is visible from the front gate. You really gotta hold the camera high to get this angle, but uh, they have parked it at the front of the uh, park here. More close-up shots of the details of the window. A lot of the scaffolding is now down on the back of the Forbidden Journey building. Standing over by the tour, looking over at it. It's looking awesome. A lot of scaffolding down off the rock and off the building up top. It's really coming along. I would estimate to have all this scaffolding off in the next couple months. Um, and then they're going to start working on everything uh, down below and inside and finishing up the details over the next year. Okay, so this is uh, back over by uh, Disco Stews. It looks like there will be a pathway that will connect uh, Harry Potter with the tour area, allowing with uh, traffic control. And uh, in front of the uh, new Harry Potter store, they have this car from the movie parked over here. I couldn't remember whose car this was in the movie. I'm not a big Harry Potter fan, but I have seen the movies. Um, so if you guys know what this is, uh, comment below and let us know whose car this was in the movie. Okay, walking over to the French area by the sandwich shop. This has all been um, fenced up as they're working on theming this area, which is one of their scare zones. Um, and in between this palace and the other uh, Mel's Diner, I believe this is gonna be the Halloween maze that's being installed in here in this gap. Um, and I was able to peek through the fence and look inside. Is there anything you guys see in there? I just see walls <laughs> and some plaster work. Um, but yeah, should be pretty good. Um, there was some markings on these windows. I don't think they mean anything, but... Uh... All right, and uh, another maze construction over next to the mummy. They've got a full maze. All the walls are up and they've got this kind of uh, roofing over the top to shade it. And a long zoom in all the way over to uh, the Walking Dead area. The Walking Dead maze, you can actually see um, there's these like tree pieces over here. Um, I think this is supposed to be the Walking Dead. I assume this was Walking Dead, but seeing that now looking at this and thinking, I might be Alien vs. Predator. Okay, so rumored to close, uh, the NBC Universal experience is closing. I'm pretty bummed about this because I usually pop in here and seeing if anything's been added or changed. It's awesome. I mean, that is the DeLorean that they used as the hero car in all of the Back to the Future movies. Um, really bummed. I mean, these cool old retro tour guide patches. If you've never been in here, you need to get in here before they close it. It is really neat and they always rotate cool stuff. They've got stuff from Jaws and E.T. and they have an actual Oscar. There's just a lot of really cool things in here to check out. I made a full video on this and I'm going to put the link below if you guys want to see more of what you guys are missing out on.
All right, we're going to end here where we started at the parking garage. Uh, this has been Braden from In The Loop. Don't forget to like and share this video, and don't forget to subscribe because we've got videos from all kinds of theme parks and places across the country. Uh, we've got cool exclusive looks behind the scenes and even some real silly stuff. So hope to see you guys in the next video.